and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really exciting video. I've been waiting to do this and oh, I'm so happy I'm finally doing it. So recently Mecha Maxima came out with their own brand which is called Mecha Max and if you don't know what Mecha Maxima is, Mecha Maxima is basically a huge makeup store that holds really really large high-end brands and they came out with their new brand and honestly I was so excited when they announced this. I was like so, of course, I had to pick up just a couple of things from their line. I did not get a full face, but I did get a couple of things to test and try out for you guys today. And I guess if these go really well, I definitely want to pick up a couple of their other stuff. A lot of things were sold out, so it was really hard for me to get a couple of things. But I got what I could, and I will definitely be getting more products if these ones work out today. I'm literally so excited to do this. I haven't swatched any of these. I only just got them in the mail yesterday. So it has been very, very hard to not touch any of these products and just have a bit of a play. Um, so I will be doing swatches. I will do a few, a full review. But if you guys want to see my created look at the end and to see what I think of these products, please keep watching. So to get started, I'm gonna pop on my little headband thingy and I'm going to start by just moisturizing my face with my simple moisturizer just because I got really dry skin at the moment so I need to moisturize it. Now I have already done my eyebrows and I have already concealed around them if you're probably wondering why I kind of look less like an alien and more of a human being that's why. Okay, so now that I've got my moisturizer on, when I purchased the Mecha Max products, they put in a little tiny um, primer, and this is such a cute little bottle. Look at it. I mean, it kind of sucks that it's so small because if I really like it, like it's going to suck because I'm going to probably use this entire thing today. But anyways, this is the Mecha Max Bring It On Illuminating Primer. Now, I have their Mecha Cosmetica Illuminating Primer, and that is my holy grail. That is literally my favorite. I haven't had it for very long, but I use it every single day, whether I'm wearing makeup or not. So this better pull through for me. It smells really nice. Whoa! <laughs> it just like came flying out. Okay, well, um, ooh. This is literally like the exact same color as the Mecha Cosmetica one. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited right now. Oh, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. But that's okay. We are gonna be glowing. I don't know, oh my god, it smells like something, but I can't like put my finger on it. Oh. Anyways, I'm gonna blend that out with my Real Techniques stippling brush. I have the primer on. I am like glowing. Like there's no tomorrow. I have to say, I feel like it's, I will have to say, I don't know, I feel like it's more intense than the Mecca Cosmetica one, but I don't mind it. So I've just brought you guys in a little bit closer because I'm actually going to do my eyes first. I ended up getting one of their little eyeshadow palettes um, because I just had to. There wasn't, um, there wasn't a large selection from the palette thingy that I chose. There was literally only the one that I got, and then the rest of them were all bluey grey tones. I think there was three others to choose from. But I saw this one here. This is the Mecha Max Wink Weapon Mini Palette in the shade Established, or in the palette Established. But it is honestly so pretty. The packaging, I have to say, they've done amazingly well on the packaging. It feels so sturdy, like it's not going to break on me. It's kind of got like this frosted pattern glass effect with like the little M on it. And then it just pops open. And then these are the colors here. These two bottom ones, I cannot wait to use. I am hoping that they're going to be so crazily pigmented because that gold. Honey. So I'm just going to start off by ooh, priming my eyes and I'll be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer today. I haven't used this in a little while so I need to use it again, honey. And I'm taking my BH Cosmetics 
119 brush as per usual just to blend that out now like I think I've already said this but the reason why I'm doing the eyeshadows first is because I don't know if there's any fallout and I don't want you know eyeshadow all over my foundation and concealer and everything like that so we're just going to do this one first and then to set my concealer, I'm just going to use some of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Translucent, just to make sure that the eyeshadows blend easily. Okay, so I'm going to start by using this white color right here. Ooh. So first off, it's really easy to pick up the color and it's not like there's not a large amount of fallout at all like I have been like shoving my brush in there and there's like the tiniest amount of little fallout like on the top of the case so I'm impressed so far so I'm just gonna kind of like put that just all over my lid again even though I've already set them I'm then going to go in with this shade right here and it is a very shimmery shade unfortunately like the only matte shades in this one I'm pretty sure is this one here it's kind of hard to tell I think yeah so this one here is completely matte and so was the one down here but we're just going to see how this goes so I'm going in with this shade and I'm going to put that in my crease oh and I'm using a um, exo beauty blender brush oh oh okay first off super super easy to blend like it just blends on its own that's amazing oh my gosh it's not like crazy pigmented but sometimes I actually like that because I feel like it's so easy to build up so if you want more of like the natural side of eyeshadow one day I feel like this would be so good because you don't need a lot but it's also very blendable. Okay, so that is how that shade is looking. To be honest, it's not like overly shimmery. I feel like I've knocked a lot of the shimmer out of the shade. So I'm just gonna like give it a little bit of a swatch. Oh my God, it's so pretty. So this is the swatch on my finger and that is actually like stunning. That is so pretty. I'm then just gonna go in with the darker shade down the bottom and I'm gonna use that in my crease and just to kind of like darken up this look. And straight off the bat, this one is very, very pigmented and it's, a, it's got a little bit of fallout when I tap it into the pan, but it's not bad. I know I need to blend a lot more, but that has looked, I don't know, that just looks so well blended already. And I haven't really even done that much. That's so crazy. So I'm just bringing that color a little bit further in on my lid. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy blender brush and I'm just going to smooth out the edges. I did take it up a little too high, but that's all right. Okay, so far so good. They blended out really, really nicely, so I'm really impressed with that. I'm now going to go in with this gold shade, and I need to swatch it before I... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it feels really, like, oily and kind of wet. Can we just appreciate this? That was literally only, like, a couple of swirls in the pan. Okay. Hmm. So when I've swatched it onto my hand, the glitter has separated quite a lot. So that's a little bit, a little bit disappointing. So I'm going to go in with a short shader brush, which is one of my unicorn brushes. And I'm just going to try and pick it up on the brush. So I feel like I feel like this is kind of like those eyeshadows that you get that are literally like jelly and then just a little bit of glitter in them. 
It is really difficult to pick up. I don't know if you can see, but it is really difficult to pick up, but let's put it on the eyes and let's find out. I'm just gonna pat this all over my eye. I'm not gonna swipe, I'm only gonna pat because I wanna try and keep that pigment there. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to work with this and like now that I'm playing with it a little bit more, the best way I can describe this eyeshadow when you are like pushing it around in the pan, oh it's like focusing, okay. when you're like pushing it around on the pan, can you see like those little dents that I'm making? I feel like you're just like pushing around sand, that's what it feels like and I'm trying really hard to make this work. I feel like maybe this would work better maybe if you had like a glitter glue or something underneath but this is a very wet, very wet consistency. It's already transferred onto my upper lid but I have hooded eyes so that always happens. It's not really like a, a groundbreaker. So I feel like swiping it is actually a bit better then patting it on because when I'm patting it on it's just kind of staying in the one spot. I feel like as well maybe if I had put something down underneath it this would probably work a lot better just because it's really patchy so like there are some spots that just don't have any glitter on it. Maybe that's my fault. I probably should have used something underneath it so I'm not going to hate it just yet. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyeliner and I'm just going to try and get some of this glitter off. I've, honestly, like, it's literally the tiniest amount of fallout. It's not like what it would be with a pure, like, a pigment or anything like that because the consistency is so wet. Um, but there is only, like, a tiny little bit, but it's really nothing to complain about at all. Okay, so <laughs> I was talking about my foundation and I wasn't even recording. So anyways, I recently purchased the Wake Me Up can, uh, foundation by Rimmel. So I'm trying that today and I've already pretty much started applying it to my face, but that's all right. I am noticing that the glitter, like the more I do something with my face, the glitter is just kind of like making its way down. Just not the greatest. And it's even like on my eyeliner and everything, but. And for concealer today, I'm gonna go back in with my Estee Lauder concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to pop some of that under my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin, and on my lip. I'm going to use another concealer to try and cover that big weird looking dot, but I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Just for some extra coverage today, I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that around here and then on that spot as well. To bake my face today I'm going to go in with the Coty Airspun Loose Powder as per usual and then I'm just going to blend out any creasing that I have underneath my eyes before I bake and then I quickly get some powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and I'm going to take that on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat that over where I haven't baked. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off that under eye bake. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC uh, Pro Longwear Pressed Powder in the shade Light and I'm just going to pop a really tiny amount of this under my eyes 
Okay, so moving on to more Mecha Max products. Um, I ended up picking up the, what is this? Sunlit Skin Bronzer in the shade Light. And oh, this looks so pretty. I feel like I probably should have got a much darker shade, but we will see how this goes. Um, it does come with a mirror, which, oh, I was so happy to see. Because I hate picking up like stuff like this or, you know, highlighters or whatever that come in a little compact and that don't have a mirror because sometimes a girl needs a mirror to take with her. So for bronzing and contouring today, I'm going to take my model's prefer highlight and contour brush and I'm just going to dip in. Ooh, that's pretty pigmented so far. It's not bad. This blends so good. Oh my gosh. And I'm not just saying that, like, this blends really well. It's not the most pigmented, but all of my bronzers that I have are crazy, crazy pigmented and sometimes I go really overboard. And I feel like this is putting, like, the amount that goes on the brush, just from, you know, tapping in a couple of times, I feel like it gives such a good amount that is so easily blended and so easily buildable. Like, I am like seriously obsessed with this. Like, look how nice that looks. Is it just me that thinks that looks really nice? Like, I'm really like dipping in, like I'm swirling it around and I'll show you the amount of product. Like, that looks like a lot. But when I pop it on, it just distributes so seamlessly and perfect. I don't know if it's the product or if it's the brush, but oh, hello. I'm literally like completely obsessed and totally in love. This is my new favorite right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I didn't get a blush from Mecha Max. I don't know if they have blushes. I think they do. But today I'm just going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Risqué. Alright, and of course I picked up a highlighter. This is the Mecha Max um, Skin Halo Diamond Dust in the shade White Gold. I think this is the lightest shade that they have and it looks so pretty. I don't know if you can see. It just looks so stunning. And I haven't even swatched it. Oh my God, what am I doing? I need to swatch this. So this is the swatch right here. It is definitely glowy. It is not sparkly. It's not shimmery. I feel like it's just, I don't know. Like off camera, it's so glowy. Like it's probably really hard to see because the lighting is so shit. But to apply this, I'm gonna go in with my Models Prefer um, highlighting concealer brush. And I'm just going to, ooh, okay. It's a little bit powdery. It's very powdery, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh my God, that smells so nice. It smells like a perfume. Whew. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. That is just like, that's not sparkly. That's not shimmery. That is just pure glowy. Oh my God. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Side I feel about this is that it is extremely powdery like you can probably see just sitting in the pan like that big amount of powder but seriously that is not enough for me to be like nope never using this I'm gonna use this all the time this is oh, it's so I can sit here all day I'm gonna shut up okay so I feel like I really want to add a little bit of color into this look um, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the dark chocolatey shade underneath my lower lash line, but only a very small amount. 
And then I think I'm going to add like a big pop of color or something like that underneath my little lash line. Because I feel like I've done this look quite a lot on my channel. So I kind of want to change it up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take my e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm just going to take a little bit of that chocolatey color. And I'm just going to pop that under my lower lash line. I'm going to put it as close to the lash line as I can. Okay, so for some pops of color, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic palette. And I'm going to take some of the Aphrodite shade. And I'm also going to use a little bit of Cosmic, whoop, Cosmic as well. And I'm just going to apply that under my lower lash line with a BH Cosmetics, what is this, pencil brush. So for mascara today, I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm going to put that on my top and bottom lashes. Okay, I just went ahead and put on some lashes and these lashes are the Ardell Glamour Wispies. Um, for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade here from the Mecca Max palette. And I'm just going to apply that with a little eyeshadow brush. Oh, hello, pigment. Wow. I'm just going to run a little bit of some black coal under my eyes. Or oh, in my waterline, sorry. And last but not least, I had to pick up one of their bullet lipsticks they have these ones and they also have the liquid lipsticks but I really want to try and get back into bullet lipsticks I have so many liquid lipsticks it's insane so the way these are made I was so very confused so when I first got it I was like trying to like take off the top and I was like shaking it out I was like why won't it come out and then I was like looking at the bottom and I was like oh this is so cute and then I pushed it I could seriously do that all day. Anyways, so it's like a little, you like pull it out there. So it's like a little safety type of thing. I love this idea. I think it's amazing. There have been so many times where I've had my bullet lipsticks in my bag and the lid has been like pushed off and then either my lipstick's been destroyed or there's always like this gunk or some sort of dirt or something on my lipstick that's been in my handbag. So I think this is such a cool idea, seriously. like. I'm gonna stop. Anyway, so the shade that I got is Love Shack, which is a high definition lipstick. So they have lots of different ones. They had sheer, um, ultra matte, high definition, and I'm not too sure if there was another one, but they're the ones that I saw. So, oh my god, stop. Okay, so this is the shade here. It is a beautiful like coral pink. I had to get it. I thought it was so stunning. Now that I put this purple under my eyes, I'm really hoping this will go. I think it will. Oh, okay. <gasps> wow. That is ridiculously pigmented. That is not patchy. That went on so smooth. Oh my God, get on my lips. Now that it's on my lips, um, when you rub your lips together, like, it becomes quite patchy, so there's like a couple of lines, but when you're pouting and doing that, no problems at all. And last but not least, I'm going to set my face with the Mecca Cosmetica Finishing Spray. Okay guys, and that is the completed look. I actually really 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 like it now that it's all like come together i love how it looks everything has been so impressive the only thing that's been a bit of a letdown was that gold glitter that i've got on my lids but like i said i am going to try and put something else underneath it maybe i need to try a different technique or a different brush or just something to get it to work because honestly it's a beautiful gold i i, I really like it <laughs> the lipstick is stunning 
it's so comfortable it feels like i don't even have anything there it was it just glided on i, I can't even speak like oh it was just such a good formula i'm definitely going to get a lot more of these the eyeshadow so impressed with this is definitely going to be something that i will take with me when i'm traveling or something like that even though there's not like a lot of shades to choose from it's still a very good neutral palette to take with you and i'm really really loving it the bronzer and the highlight well we already know that i'm like dead set obsessed with those like these are going to be used on my face all the time so all around I have no hate for these products, there's nothing bad to say other than the glitter was just difficult to work with, but I still love it. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting a lot more products from the Mecca Max brand. I am so impressed and so in love with all these products that I've used today. I think they're a million and ten percent worth it. The highlight and the bronzer I think are perfect for beginners because even though they're not the most pigmented. Um, they're still very buildable and they're so easy to work with so if you're a beginner and you're wanting a highlight and a bronzer But nothing too crazy. I feel like these are perfect same goes with the eyeshadow and same goes with the lipstick absolutely outstanding And I forgot to mention as well the primer. I think the primer is really good. It is a lot more intense than the Mecca Cosmetica highlighter. I was no Illuminator primer. I feel like yeah, I feel like this one is a little bit more intense with the glow So if you like super illuminating primers, this would be the way to go So that is the video for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed it I had so much fun filming this video if you like these types of review new product type of videos Please please let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do another one of these videos to review anything else I love doing them so much so if you liked today's video guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more videos from me. But until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!